But first, let's have a chat with our panel, Jenny Davidson from Holyrood Magazine and Rachel Watson, who is Deputy, Deputy Political Editor at the Scottish Daily Mail. Well, on Europe, do you think attitudes would change, Jenny, to the idea of another Scottish independence? Maybe not to the idea of a Scottish independence referendum, but if Scotland were to vote for independence. As in, would, would attitudes change about rejoining yes, they, they, the EU, yeah, do you think? Yes, they, yes they, were, they, were, they were pretty hostile, by and large, during the independence referendum last time, weren't they? Yeah, I, I think that the, the indications that are coming out of the EU are that um, there has been a softening, that they've seen the difference in Scottish attitude towards EU membership from the rest of the UK. And, and there'll be some sympathy with that, of, of thinking, well, Scottish people actually you know, wanted to stay in the EU and would quite like someone who wants to be a member who actually supports what we're doing. So I think, yeah, I think that will actually change things. There'll be a kind of bit of a realignment. But of course, there is still the issue with Spain, as was mentioned in uh, Glenn Campbell's report. And, you know, Spain's concern will still be about Catalonia. What do you make of it, Rachel? I think attitudes might change. Attitudes might get warmed Scotland rejoining the EU um, but there are still you know as Jenny mentioned there there's the kind of Spain are not going to be that you know they're not going to want Scotland to join what does that show for Catalonia and um, but also there's other questions around Scotland's deficit to join the EU you have to have a certain deficit I think it's around the three percent of GDP mark Scotland's currently sits at seven percent so Scotland's got a lot of work to do there there's also other things around isn't that the euro do, do you, I mean, I know they try and force it right across the EU, but you, you might not be allowed in the euro. It doesn't mean... I think it's te technically joining right. the EU. You're yeah, meant so to be at that level, whether whether they kind of say, OK... Because that's been you know, fudged as long as you're for on countries that like path. Germany, yeah, never yeah. mind... Uh, yeah, I think once you're in, it's fine, but perhaps as a condition yeah, of actually joining... Yeah, for joining is yeah. one of the conditions that Scotland would have to meet, and it's not, you know... Do the EU then just kind of waive that? You know, it's different if you're already in, but Scotland would be outside the EU by that point, yeah. presumably, whenever we get to another referendum. Then there's also things like you mentioned the euro there. Would Scotland have to, you know, there's a lot of argument on both sides on whether Scotland would have to sign up to the euro. Is that something that the Scottish government would be prepared to do? And then you've got, again, around the CFP, Mike Russell was quite dismissive of um, fishermen there in the North East, which I think might not be great for the SNP's chances in a snap general election if that's the kind of um, voice that they decide to take on that. And I think, you know, there are concerns about the CFP and this whole, you know, Scotland could go in and reform it. Well, people have been trying to reform it and it hasn't worked. Just, you know, Scotland's quite a small country, will be quite a small voice within the EU. 